Well, hello, Planty people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How's my Monstera Albo doing, you say? She's been better. So if you watched my unboxing video of me getting my Albo, you guys would already know that I've been struggling with her, that she's been rotting a ton, and I feel like I'm pretty familiar with rooting plants and rehabbing them and getting them to grow their own roots. Monster albos are no joke. I always just thought that maybe the people who were struggling with rooting their albos and then rotting were just people who didn't have as much experience as I did, but boy was I so wrong. <laughs> because whenever I got this elbow, he had a good little aerial root. Actually, he had two of them, and they were really white, fuzzy. It came the very next day, and it was rooting really well. I had it in water because they were water roots, and then I left for Tennessee. And then when I came back, the rot had already started to set in, which is unfortunate because if I didn't go to Tennessee and leave for a full week, then I probably would have caught it a little bit sooner. Because if you're like me, and whenever you get a new plant that you're really obsessed with, you're looking at it practically daily, right? And sometimes even multiple times a day if you're as obsessed about your plants as I am. After I came back from Tennessee, it started to rot a little bit. And then I did multiple different rehabs. I, I cut it three more times but it just kept on rotting every single time. And I did a last ditch effort and I put it into Perlite, which is a medium that I've never used before, but a lot of people have recommended that medium and it rotted even more. So I did a last, last ditch effort probably a week ago. Yeah, probably about a week ago and I wrapped the node which had like the aerial root that was coming out of the node had just completely rotted off. There was just nothing there anymore. I wrapped it in moss, just, I knew full and well that the plant wasn't gonna make it, but I was just like, maybe, just maybe, it'll do something. I've taken off the moss today, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So here she is, she's so sad, she's not plump whatsoever. I got this plant because of this leaf. I am in love with this type of variegation where it goes like like the big chunk of the lighter green, not, not exactly white, but I love the chunks of, of the lighter shades of green along with the speckling of whites. I love <laughs> this leaf. But this is what it looks like. It is completely rotted and I'm so sad because this is probably the most expensive plant I've ever bought. <laughs> and it just kind of feels like sometimes whenever you do something like that, it feels like you literally just took that money and you just threw it out the window because that's kind of what's gonna have to happen. I'm gonna enjoy this guy as much as I can for the time that he's here. And that's really all, all that I can do is just enjoy him while he's still here and watch the yellowing proceed. However, <laughs> I do have some good news along with this really horrible news is that I was actually able to do a trade with somebody. Thank you so much, Kayla, for trading with me. I really, really do appreciate it. I traded Kayla a Alocasia Zabrina and a really good cutting of my Philodendron Adabapuensi cross with Bilati hybrid. Thank you so much, Kayla, for trading with me. I'm so excited. So not only is this going to be an update on my previous album, but this is also going to be an unboxing from Kayla. She sent me a really beautiful cutting of a Monstera album. So let me go ahead and unpackage it. She said it was on a foam board and all I have to do is just pull it out. Woohoo! I love whenever people go the extra mile whenever they're doing plant mail and they send you a little envelope with a letter. I just love when people do that. Heather, thank you so much for a super fun trade. I hope this baby is perfect for you. Thanks for being plenty with me. All the best, Kayla. Well, thank you for being plenty with me too, Kayla. I truly appreciate it. Especially, I'm just ready, <laughs> ready you guys. I have had such crap 
I want to say the other word, but I'm trying to keep it, you know, G-rated on here. I've had such crap <laughs> luck with unboxings and buying plants recently, whether the plant ends up not being the best plant or like the plant doesn't have like the damage and everything that is done to the plant isn't pictured or talked about whenever I'm purchasing said plant and or all the roots are rotted and it's just a big old thing so I'm just ready for a win I thought that my previous Monstera was a win but I'm hoping that this one works out better for me it has a bit more actually I was gonna say it has a bit more green to it but I think it has about the same amount of green to white ratio okay so let's have a little reveal party if I can hold it Ta-da! Yay, look how pretty she is! You know what, she does look kind of similar to like this newest leaf on here. But look how cute that is! I love, I love this little splotch right here. I even really like this really big splotch of green right there. I think this is a really pretty cutting. So let's go ahead and look at the root. Now she just did some fresh cuttings. And this one had a really nice aerial root, I do believe, if I am correct. Yes, has a really nice aerial root right there. So this is what she looks like right now. No rot or anything like that, just a nice callus. Looks pretty good. Hopefully it'll be something really nice and promising. Thank you so much, Kayla, for trading with me. It means the absolute world to me that you traded with me. This is also a top cutting too, so fingers crossed that she'll grow on the quicker side as well. So, with this guy, I am going to go with a method that I feel very, very comfortable with. This works like hands down the easiest whenever I'm propagating my green Monsteras, just my regular old green Monsteras, and that is just using plain old moss. So I'm gonna just pop, go ahead and pop her up into some moss that isn't completely like wet. I want it to be a little bit on the damp side, but a little bit more on, I'd rather it be a little bit more drier than wet, if that makes any sense. There's a, there's a good happy medium for the dampness of the moss. Okay, so I ran downstairs really quick and I got a nice little cup and I filled it full of dampened moss. Now it is not, wet by any means but it is definitely not dry you can kind of tell because it kind of looks looks fluffy if that makes any sense whatsoever it looks fluffy and it's not stuck together to hard as a rock like it would be if it was really dry and it's not just like sopping wet and really really dark as if it were like really really wet so I went ahead and just made a nice little hole in the moss cup I'm just gonna put her right in there ever so gently and cover her up and pray to the planty gods that <laughs> she makes it but look how cute she looks she looks so good it looks like she belongs right here in this little baby cup oh i just really hope that she does really good she's so beautiful once again, thank you so much, Kayla, for trading with me. It really and truly means the world to me, and I just love that it looks so good. Oh my gosh, Kayla just messaged me on Discord, and she said that hers arrived so good. So yay! <laughs> we both got our plants today. We, we shipped them out. On, I shipped mine like Tuesday afternoon, and it's Thursday. That's USPS. You stepping your game up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, yay, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed the content and you wanna see more from me, then hit the subscribe button. And if you really wanna go the extra mile, turn your notifications on. That way you know exactly whenever I'm uploading you get a notification for it every single time. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye.